Hey guys, today's video is about how to apply a gradient to a stroke inside Affinity Designer version 2. And this method is also possible to use inside Affinity Designer version 1. And to start, we need a new clean canvas. And we are using this method with two um, different types of strokes. So first one, we're using the pen tool to create a single line stroke like this adjusting the color to black if it isn't and the stroke to 4pt or something like this and the next um, version we're using is some simple text so we are selecting a text tool typing in gradient making it bigger selecting a fitting font for this case so for example Morsera black and then going to swatches and we're making the filling transparent and applying a black to the stroke and adjusting to 4pt or something like this. It's looking good and maybe we can go like this if you want to and adjust to 6 or um, we can um, keep our, um, our round joints, that's up to you. And to apply a gradient to this stroke or to the strokes, um, we need to transform them to be um, a filling. So we need to, um, in this case, for the line, simply click on it, go to layer, go to expand stroke. And by using the node tool, we are seeing now that we now don't have a stroke anymore, but a filling. And that way we can apply a gradient. We can go to the gradient tool right here. We can select our, um, of course, select our um, filling our stroke before and now um, draw a gradient and select the colors, for example, for this one red and for this one something blue, like this. And we see we have applied a gradient to this stroke. And in the case of our text, we first need to go on the text and go convert to curves. And the next step is going right click ungroup. And now what we have to do next is select all of the letters that are now curves and go to again layer and expand stroke. And now we also have our um, stroke as a filling which um, we can use to apply a gradient. We can for example um, cr uh, make it one um, curve if you want to and now or we can keep it and now we can use the filling the gradient tool again and go from here to here for example and choose blue for this one and red for this one and that way we can easily apply gradients to strokes but keep in mind by um, transforming to curves or by transforming by clicking expand stroke, we can't adjust our stroke um, like we, uh, we could before because we transform them in a filling. So that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.